Hey everyone, it's Corbin with World of HVAC, and for a very long time, everyone has been saying that the trades are a quick way to make $100,000 a year, but on paper, it doesn't really look like that. Let me break it down. On Service Titan's website, they actually have the average HVAC technician salary based on your state and experience. Like Alaska, I didn't know they had that much business up there. I think it's primarily heating, but I'm not sure. So if you do do air conditioning in Alaska, let me know when you actually turn the AC on. Now down a bit to where I'm located in Louisiana, it ranges from 43,000 to 78,000. That's a pretty nice life in most areas, I have to admit. Now if you take those numbers and you divide them by 2080, you get around 20 to 38 dollars an hour. But the real question is, what does it take to break $100,000 a year in this industry? Well, the first thing you have to do is break it down. Take that $100,000 and divide it by 2080. That 2080 number I've been using is 40 hours a week for 52 weeks, one entire year. That will give you a $48 an hour at the basic 40 hours a week. Now, I'm not going to go into overtime because it is not guaranteed and sporadic, especially when you're talking about different seasons and where you live. Even at the top end, at $38 an hour, you're still $10 short an hour, which is $400 a week. Where does that extra money come from? Well, the way I see it, there are three ways to make money in this world. One, trade your time for money. Basically, work more hours. Two, you can specialize and increase your value, which is a higher hourly earning. And three, you can produce. You bring money into a company. Now with those three, there are a couple things you have to understand. That you can only work so many hours before you are told to stop or just pass out. And if the calls aren't there for you to work dust to dawn, then you're not gonna be hitting that goal anyway. Now specializing and increasing your value is awesome. We need good techs in this field, but there is a cap to all positions and $48 an hour is above the cap on our position. That leaves us with producing. There are a ton of technicians that I met that are good with just doing their work, get paid hourly and go home. But for those of us who want to work less and make more, there's really only one way to do it. Basically producing is selling. And before I go any further, I only believe in selling ethically. What that means is don't go into someone's house after you found a dead capacitor and tell them they need to buy a new system. That's stealing and that's not cool. Treat someone's home like your own and treat your customer like your grandma. You wouldn't want your grandma to get screwed over, would you? Now, I like to separate problems into two categories. On one side, you have your fix it and move along repairs. That could be a contactor, capacitor, uh, a clogged drain line, a fan motor, something that you can fix for a relatively affordable price and just move along. No big deal. On the other side, you have system killers. A compressor that is blown and not under warranty is one example. A huge leak in an evaporator coil is another example. In these types of scenarios, the cost to repair could actually rival the cost to replace. Say a new system costs $10,000 and replacing the evaporator coil and filling it back up with R22 costs $3,000. That's when it's time to talk to the customer about a new system. And honestly, you'd be looking out for it. Take that scenario with the evaporator coil and let's say it's an air handler, okay? Once that cabinet is out of warranty, that's it. All the parts that you buy after that are full price. If you replace the evaporator coil, you don't get a warranty for it, even though it is the most expensive part of the air handler. So now the customer is out $3,000 and they don't even have a warranty on their pricey repair. Now two months later, you get a phone call and you go out there. You find a grounded compressor. Well, we're back at square one now. The cost to replace a compressor out of warranty with R22 is astronomical. And nobody in their right mind will pay thousands more just to fix something on the old refrigerant. So now it's time to buy the $10,000 system. Only their full investment is not gonna be $10,000. It's going to be $13,000 now because all that stuff you just put in, it's all getting taken away. As a professional, it is your job to inform them of these situations give them the options and let them figure out what is best for them. Only giving them one option to repair is not helping them out. So now that we've covered how not to steal from somebody, let's go back to the topic and talk about how to use sales to increase your income to the coveted six figures. All sales earnings are based on percentages and most of the percentages I've seen are between two and 5%, which is totally set up by the company that you work at. I've seen guys take lower hourly and a higher percentage because the numbers fell out that way. It worked in their favor. A dedicated salesman will have a higher percentage, but that's different from a service technician who's just generating leads. For example, if your percentage on that $10,000 sale was 4%, then that's 400 bucks in your pocket just for looking out for the customer and letting them choose the best option that was comfortable for them. Now, $400 might not seem like a lot, but for guys making $25 an hour, that's an extra 16 hours worth of work that they don't have to do. 
now the $100,000 a year looks attainable. So in order to reach that six figure number, you have to make $1,923 a week. At $25 an hour, you're making about $1,000 a week. Sell two systems at 10 grand and you're up to $1,800 a week. Factor in a little bit of overtime and smaller repair sales at whatever percentage, you're gonna meet that goal. So definitely that six figure income looks a lot less daunting once you break it down. Now the key is to be honest with your customers, give them multiple options and let them choose the best investment for themselves. Guys, I hope this helps somebody out. Please hit the subscribe button to help out the channel. Hit the like button if you learned anything from this video. And let me know down in the comments if there's any topic I can go over to help you out in the field or with something like this. So until next time, y'all have a great day.